The nature of modern warfare is constantly changing, and air mobility continues to grow in importance, providing critical deployment, sustainment, and other operational support for the U.S. and its allies. Air mobility modernization began with the acquisition of the C-17 and continues with the C-5M, the C-130J, and the C-130 AMP programs. Now, the Air Force looks to modernize its air refueling capability, currently provided by a fleet of over 400 KC-135s. In the 1980s, the Air Force took a conservative approach to expanding its air refueling capability by modifying commercial aircraft into air refuelers. We have learned much about air mobility capabilities and needs over the past 50 years. As the Air Force looks to update the capability currently provided by the KC-135 fleet, now is the time to explore the full spectrum of possible solutions that could provide effective and flexible air refueling and airlift well into the 21st century. The Configurable Air Transport, or CAT, is such a concept. Through its ability to carry modules, the CAT is a true multi-mission aircraft responsive to the air mobility challenges of the 21st century. While the CAT is an innovative aircraft concept, it is built on proven principles that have been in use for decades. The CAT utilizes the same principles that work so successfully in the civilian realm with containerized shipping systems. Sea, rail, and truck transportation networks have become highly interlinked through the use of standardized intermodal containers. In addition to the increase in speed and efficiency of moving cargo from origin to destination, containerized shipping also increases the utilization rates and therefore the efficiency and effectiveness of the transport vehicles themselves. The key to the success of modern shipping networks has been the standardized intermodal container and the vehicles that were designed to carry them. And this same success could be realized in today's military airlift through the use of airborne modules enabling fast, secure, and efficient transport of cargo, vehicles, and personnel, as well as their possible use in a wide range of other air power and airborne support missions. Preliminary studies of module and aircraft configurations indicate that a module slightly wider and taller, but about the same length as a C-130 fuselage, could carry most Army air mobile combat vehicles and associated equipment. Specifically, the module will be sized to carry six 463L pallets, or current and future Army Air Mobile Combat Vehicles. The modules are designed for independent ground mobility on the ramp. The self-height adjustment of the modules enables quick loading from the ground, standard loading docks, and flatbed trucks. Major General John Gavin, commander of the Army 82nd Airborne Division during World War II, authored a history of airborne operations that included a look at desirable future capabilities. Recognizing that increasing the value of air mobile operations was closely tied to the capabilities of their air transport vehicles, General Gavin advocated modularized cargo containers and module carrying aircraft. This idea was picked up by Fairchild, then building the C-119 theater transport for the Air Force. To see if a module-carrying transport was practical, Fairchild built two prototype XC-120s based on the C-119. In the 1930s, U.S. aircraft designer Jack Northrop pioneered a revolutionary aircraft design called the Flying Wing. Fifty years later, in the 1980s, the Air Force used the flying wing idea to develop the revolutionary B-2 strategic bomber. Now, NASA and AFRL are investigating the next revolution in transport design, a version of the flying wing called the blended wing body, or BWB, that is aerodynamically and structurally more efficient than traditional aircraft designs. The module-carrying version of the BWB, referred to as the Configurable Air Transport, or CAT, provides a highly versatile, time-resilient solution with the capability to provide strategic air refueling, global reach air cargo transport, global reach air power projection, and persistent airborne surveillance. 
This strategic CAT tanker could be complemented by a theater CAT tanker, capable of providing the theater commander with comparable mission capabilities for dedicated air power, theater air refueling, and dedicated theater surveillance using the same modules. While the C-17 and modernized C-5 would still provide critical oversize and heavy cargo transport, a fleet of new strategic and theater CATs could provide substantial air cargo mission capabilities to efficiently deploy and sustain air and land tactical forces in addition to their core mission of strategic and theater air refueling. An example mission would be to rapidly air deploy an Army On Alert Air Mobile Combat Brigade from CONUS to forward air bases. Being on alert, the brigade's combat equipment and vehicles would be loaded onto Army-owned modules. Road transportable, these modules would be moved to the adjacent Air Force Base or Army Airfield for pickup. The United States Transportation Command, working in conjunction with the Air Force Air Mobility Command, would plan the air bridge to efficiently move the Army Brigade to forward air bases. As the modules would have already been checked to ensure that the cargo is properly secured and within allowable limits of weight and balance, they could be moved directly to the ramp for pickup. Air Mobility Command strategic cats would arrive, refuel if necessary, pick up the Army modules, and depart for regional or allied air bases near the theater of operations. On arriving at the regional base, the strategic cats would taxi to a designated location on the ramp, detach the modules, and depart, all in a matter of minutes. Almost immediately, the modules could be directed into position for pickup by the theater cats, or parked away from the area of ongoing operations for temporary secure and protected storage until moved forward. By using cargo modules, the traditional en route unloading, sorting, storage, and reloading of palletized cargo and vehicles would be replaced by the efficient movement of materiel and vehicles from strategic to theater air mobility systems, shaving hours and possibly even days from traditional deployment timelines. Further, this use of airborne modules would virtually eliminate en route delays due to MOG constraints, limited materiel handling equipment or personnel, weather, or a lack of secure temporary cargo storage. Literally within minutes of arrival on the strategic CATs, the Army modules could be on their way to dispersed forward operating bases. Basic Expeditionary Airfield Resources, or BEAR bases, are used to temporarily station Expeditionary Air Forces and disembark Mobile Land Forces. Bear base versions of the airborne cargo modules could be used to store, transport, house, power, defend, and sustain the expeditionary forces using air transportable, environmentally controlled facilities that provide improved ballistic, chemical, and biological protection compared with conventional tent facilities. In an era of increasing technology utilization at all levels of military operations, bear base modules provide a new means to package, deploy, and sustain high-tech equipped expeditionary forces. For example, hospital modules could provide full emergency diagnostic, surgery, and critical care facilities. Maintenance facilities could provide problem identification and resolution capabilities while being fully electronically linked into reachback supply and expertise networks. Finally, bear base modules could be readily adapted to quickly add new warfighting capabilities such as UAV and near space system control centers and new base defensive capabilities. 
As the Air Force considers how best to modernize its air refueling capabilities, technology and design innovation through module carrying aircraft could establish comparable world leading air mobility capabilities. This would sustain critical strategic and theater air refueling capabilities and add new airlift capacity and new expeditionary forces, deployment, sustainment, airborne support, and air power projection capabilities. Almost 40 years ago, the C-5 Galaxy introduced a new era of air mobility. Today, the innovative design application of existing and emerging aeronautical technologies could enable configurable air transports to modernize air mobility to meet the changing needs of the 21st century.